Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Lexpot. Welcome back to the Pie Pack. So last episode on the Pie Pack, we worked on getting our Tesseracts up. But I don't get it. I can't get these things to work. Um, I can't get them to work. I can't get them to transmit power over to the other one. So if you guys have any um, helpful hints or tips or anything, please let me know. But today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be putting in a system to be able to get up from this floor, from the bottom floor, to this floor, to the top floor. Very simply, very fast, very easily. So we have it tons of ender pearls now, right? And we also have some wool from our farm out there. But first I want to show you, since my internet is back up, this is um, the statues. This is Mog Mog 12 skin, chocolate bar. Zombie 856 of an astronaut, AM791 of a teenager, my dad's of a military dude, two o'clocks of himself, and Professor Pop-Tarts of a squid wearing a mage robe with a cyborg guy. So here, if I had shears on me, I would shear these sheep again just to make sure we have enough. Um, actually, we do, I do have shears. Why would you look at that? Shear... Because we're going to need some wool just to um, get the system working. We're going to be using open blocks to do this. The specific block is an elevator block from open blocks. That's a lot of, how many times can I say block in a thing? The reason I want to do this is because this doesn't require power and it's very cheap to make. So if you just search up elevator. This is an elevator block. This is just wool with an ender pearl. Shift click, bam, one, two, three. That is pretty much the entire episode done right there. These things are so simple, so good, so amazing. So basically, down in this hole, bam, there's one. There's two. There's three. Now guess what? As if I step on here, shift, I'm down another floor. Press space, up one floor, down, down, now I'm at the reactor, up, up, and now I'm at top floor. This is the fastest way for me to get around here. It is the best way for me to get around here. It is awesome. Oh yay, six more rotten flesh. So, we just use three ender pearls, right? Mm, that's a little expensive. Let's, how about we get, go get those back? Bam. Done. That's how fast that we can regain our ender pearls and everything. Ooh, 60 diamond essence. That means we can get we can get some diamonds. Diamond, diamond, I love some diamond. I don't want to get copyright. This song is from Tobuscus' new song. Go check it out, please. I love it. So, our farms have been producing amazing amounts of stuff. But today, of course, I'm just not going to leave you guys with the elevator thing because that was boring. So, but still, this is amazing. Just whoop, whoop. Wait, whoops, whoop. There we go. So now, we don't even have to have our jetpack to get around anywhere. We can just whoop. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm even just going to. Refuel it just right there. Bam. We're going to refuel. Whoop. So I'm thinking, I need a, face it, I need like a penthouse or something. Something for me to live in that's actually good and nice. And because the room that I'm living in now is double serving as my ME room. I want an entire room for my ME stuff. And then this will also be where my barrels are. Like, along these walls are going to be barrels. And then in the back are going to be ME cables and everything. So yeah, that's what that's what I want to turn this room into. Also, one of you guys, um, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Spooky Gaming. Um, if I just take my crescent hammer here. One of you guys suggested, so just in case my ultimate energy cube down there goes offline, I should have another one. 
right here for my um my ME system so I can always access my items which I thought was an excellent idea so thank you to spooky gaming for doing that for suggesting that it really helps me out so yeah that's gonna it's gonna do that and okay so we need a better room than just this this is even just our orberry room back there so we are we're gonna need to make like a penthouse type of thing so all I know for this is that it's gonna have to be right up for my for my elevator system because I want to use the elevator blocks of course to get up there and you know what we're actually just going to if I just head right back up to my ME system let's see we need some what's the medusa it's the stone bricks stone we only need one just a nice one of these just to cover up our um I believe I can still cover these up and just go through yep I can still as long as it's above then we're good there we go okay so I was thinking that it needs to be right up from here Please, oh, God dang it! It can't really be right. And this is why I wanted it up here, because you see this. I want my penthouse to be built out along here. Like this right here. This would be um. What mode am I on? This will be wood, and then like along here, out to about, I want to mark all of this out with wood and stuff, with dirt for right now. We're just gonna cover all this up right here because we at least need to have enough room for like a bed and stuff so so I say probably about this is this will all be replaced um, the dirt will be replaced at least then I want to make some like fancy looking support struts for the actual build itself the actual like room itself so it doesn't look like it's just hanging off like right there then right in the front is going to be a big just like clear glass and I could just look right out and it, it would be beautiful yeah that that's so that's what I was thinking um just so we can get up there, up here easily. Time to make another elevator block. Oh yeah. Let's put this obsidian away, this away, this away, this away, this away, this away. That, 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 that. Which also brings me to my next little thing. We are making great progress on this. But we do need to um, update a lot of our stuff to greater new heights. Which we will because this series I plan to go on for a long time and we're just going to keep doing stuff to it. So if we just search up elevator. Bam. Elevator. And I guess I'll just put my destabilized redstone drum back in there. It's just like, you see a skeleton, it's just like, I'm out of here. There's a creeper down there, you know that? 
We're going to go directly for the creeper. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Skeleton. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, I went down there to get more dirt. The only reason I use dirt is because it's easy and it's a good way just to define where all the stuff is going to go. So yeah, if we just whoop whoop. So if you guys are following along, this is the Yogg's Cast Complete Pack. Um... So if you guys want to get your hands on it yourself, it's available on the AT Launcher. That is A-T-L-A-U-N-C... -A -A I don't... I don't... I can't... I can't spell. People wonder why I'm in advanced English. Okay, here we go. Um... So this room is going to be so tall and big that it's going to reach up to Power Peak. Which it's not Power Peak anymore because it's not giving off any power. Oh yeah. So if we're just clearing this, because I just wanted to do some... I just wanted to take it back and just do kind of a relaxed episode. I love this thing, it glows. It is whoop, whoop. Such a fast and easy way. Such a fast and easy way. Just gonna sleep here. You know what? Let's do this. That is what fast mode does on this. And this... Because remember, this isn't no simple little thing this is gonna be quite big and why am I making this so big just for the express purpose of me because I want to okay now that this is done let's start adding in the wood We're going to go with nice oak. And what I realized is that I'm, I'm actually running quite low on wood. So I might actually set up a harvester thing for my, for wood. So here's what we're going to do. We need some. Oak. I'd say about. Let's just grab it all. Then we're also going to use some carpets and everything. We're just going to make it look overall amazing. Just continue to mine this out here. Get rid of all the pesky gravel. Yeah, this is going to be beautiful when it's done. 
Now you may be asking yourself why am I not bringing the oak wood planks all the way up to the um, top beam right there is because I'm actually going to make this room kind of like follow a bit of the mountain. Like there's actually going to be wood right here. Okay, and then this is a very odd design and I'm just kind of playing and messing around with it. Okay, apparently we're having invisible block problems. There we go. Then right in here we're gonna have that and then right in there there's going to be that I want to bring it up to about bring it bring this wall out to about right here Then from there we can add glass. Oh day it. Fast. Don't hit power peak. I only hit some of it though. So basically, I kind of want like a pitched roof right there. And I'm just going to show you the design until I run out of wood, which is going to be soon. So and, th and then when it's done, this is going to be my superior penthouse of amazing penthouse discs. And then then this layer right here becomes my final I think I might have to take away some of this wall just so the pattern kind of continues. But you will see the finished product in the next episode. I just wanted to do a little kind of relaxed episode today. Today we just put in our, um, our elevator system. Oh, yay. Two zombies right off the get go because I want to finish up my magical crops thing and actually at least fill in all the plots with fertilized dirt so yeah so thank you all so much for watching this episode don't forget to smash the like button with your fist and subscribe and I will see you all next time goodbye well actually I don't even know what we're going to be doing in the next episode 
I haven't really thought that far ahead. Diamond crops are so uh, amazing. What the heck, I can craft more with seven ender essence. No, I can't actually, never mind. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button with your fist and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.